So you can see that the OH group is on the third carbon atom and therefore pentan 3 all. Now there will be no geometric isomers because no carbon carbon double bonds but the, and there will be no optical isomers because no chiral center because you can see that the third carbon atom it's not attached to four different groups because even though the H and OH are different it is attached to CH3 CH2 on this side and CH2 CH3 on this side so same groups on both sides so this is not a chiral center so this will exist as a single isomer as a single stereo isomer it will not have any stereo isomers now we are done with all the five carbon main chain isomers let's go to the four carbon isomer uh, uh, four carbon main chain isomers so if you see uh, uh, structural isomers uh, isomerism can be positional isomerism or chain isomerism so we have already changed the position of OH groups on five carbon atoms now we are done with this so let's start changing the chain let's start branching the chain from now onwards so when we start branching the chain we can have So what I've done is I pi I've picked up this methyl group and I've attached it to this carbon atom. So if we start naming the main chain, it becomes a uh, numbering, sorry, numbering the main chain, it becomes one, two, three, four or four. So it can be either way. You can have anything as the fourth carbon atom because you can see that in both cases, the longest chain has four carbon atoms. And when we start, when we name this isomer, we can see that there is a methyl group on the third carbon atom. There is a methyl group on the third carbon atom and the alcohol group on the first carbon atom. So this will become 3-methyl, three 3-methyl three because methyl group on the third carbon atom, 3-methyl, butane, one all. Three methyl butane one all because you can see that uh, B, uh, three methyl because methyl group on the third carbon atom, butane because there are four carbon atoms in the main chain which is the longest chain, and one all because the alcohol group is on the first carbon atom, and then we can have. Okay, sorry, this would be wrong. I was trying to do something else. Uh, I did it again. I keep forgetting that it has to be a four carbon atom main chain. This is fine. And then the methyl was already here. But this time what I've done is that I've taken this molecule, but I've moved the OH to the second carbon atom this time. So you can see if we start numbering one, two, three, four, or four. So again, four carbon atoms in the main chain and there is a methyl group on the third carbon atom and there is an OH group on the second carbon atom. So this becomes 3-methyl butane 2-all. 3-methyl because methyl group on the third carbon atom, butane because four carbon atoms in the main chain and 2-all because alcohol group on the second carbon atom. Now, we are, now let's move a step further and in this case what we'll do is so the methyl group again stays over here but we add an OH group also over here so earlier the OH group was here but now it's moved to this position so when I start naming this it will become one or 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this time you can see that um, uh, you, can, you can name the chain from anywhere. It doesn't matter from this one or this one. It doesn't matter. But you can see that there will be a methyl group on the second carbon atom and an alcohol group on the second carbon atom in both. Uh, so in, in this case. So you can see that it will become 2-methyl because methyl group on the second carbon atom butane to all so you can see that both the alcohol group and the methyl group were on the second carbon atom so 2 methyl butane to all uh, 
So we did, we forgot to do our regular stereoisomer check uh, for.